tonight's Rebound Colorado, we have an uplifting story on a business that was actually able to expand during the pandemic. In Landlock, Colorado, it may be hard to get a taste of back east, but as News 5's Elizabeth Watts explains, a local lobster trap is trying to bring a piece of comfort to locals during tough times. Chef Bob's lobster trap packed in a local brewery parking lot, whipping up some wicked authentic eats to the surprise of some. Do you guys make your clam chowder? Yes, we do. Really? Yes. Okay. Did you try some? Yeah. It's been in the springs about three years. Just the other night, we actually had a, a customer tear up a little bit because it reminded her that much of home, just eating a lobster roll. So it's, you know, the power of food is amazing. It's a real treat to be able to have that taste of Maine and the East Coast while you're in landlocked Colorado. And like other food trucks in town, business went up during the pandemic. People could social distance, eat outside. HOAs were bringing the trucks into neighborhoods for folks to get some variety during the stay at home orders. We were able to go to a lot of different neighborhoods uh, and people would just come off the front porch. And things were so good, small business owner and chef Bob Darian was able to open up the permanent lobster trap at Barnes and Powers. It's been in the works about a year. So many people that come to the truck who are from New England or have been there to visit and just love the food and all that kind of stuff, they would ask me, hey, do you have fried clams? Nope, sorry, no deep fries. Hey, do you have steamers? Nope, sorry, we can't get them. Uh, can I get a couple of whole lobsters? No, nope, sorry, I don't have a tank. Another perk of the brick and mortar restaurant is a live lobster tank where you can eat them here or take them home. He orders Canadian hard shells because they handle the altitude a little better and he flies in the fresh seafood several times a week. Scallops come from New Bedford, Mass. They're a beautiful dry scallop. Clams normally come from Ipswich, Mass. Um, the Essex area. Haddock comes from the East Coast. Lobsters come from Canada. Chef Bob is from Boston and has been in the food business his whole life. Four years ago, he was in Atlanta, but wanted to move to Colorado to be closer to his kids and grandkids and felt called to do this. But I had something that was very unique. I really led, led with my lobster rolls, which you, there are some folks that do them here. I feel like I do them the, real, the authentic way. The permanent restaurant was supposed to open in May, but they waited because of COVID. We got PPP for the payroll. And that helps with the food truck. And then we are uh, able to get the EIDL from about six grand towards that. So that was helpful too. Now they've opened for business with a staff of 30, a seaport village vibe. Folks even taking pics as if they're on vacation, which most haven't been able to do in the midst of the pandemic. Oh, it's gorgeous. Makes me want to go to Maine. Makes me want to go to Boston. We visit Maine uh, once a year. Except this year, of course. There are lobster traps, buoys from Cape Cod, pigeons eyeing your food, and the Portland Head Lighthouse, which especially hit home with one older customer. She literally had tears in her eyes, and I said, what's the matter? And she said, my brother and I used to play in that lighthouse when we were kids, and I haven't been back in so long, and it just brought back these great memories. They've been busy since opening just a few weeks ago with word of mouth and longtime food truck customers stopping by. The fresh seafood can be pricey, but Chef Bob says the quality and good friendly service is what makes a difference. He says he's blessed to be doing so well during the pandemic and doesn't take it for granted. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Elizabeth Watts, News 5.